वेलकम टू अवर मैप बेस्ड फंडामेंटल्स ऑफ वर्ल्ड ज्योग्राफी वीडियो सीरीज वी आर स्टडिंग साउथ अमेरिका इन दिस वीडियो सीरीज वी कंप्लीटेड पाम्पास पराना एंड उरुग्वे रिवर्स फिव नोटेबल पिक्स ऑफ द एंडीज एंड ग्रैंड चैको इन प्रीवियस वीडियो इन दिस वीडियो वी शेल कवर ब्रेजिलियन हाईलैंड कैंपोस अल्टीप्लानो एंड लेक टिटिका बिफोर वी बिगिन Make sure to download our app Clarity UPSC. It is available for iOS on Apple App Store, Google Play Store, and as a web app. Statement True False Quiz truly helps you become an expert in statement evaluation of prelims. More on this at the end of the video. Let us begin. Now we move eastward again to the Brazilian highlands. The Brazilian highlands are a vast plateau region in eastern South America. Most of this highland lies within Brazil. Smaller parts extend into Uruguay, Peru, and northern Argentina. These highlands formed millions of years ago. They are among the oldest landforms on earth. Volcanic activity, erosion, and uplift of ancient rocks created this plateau. The highlands mostly have hard crystalline rocks like granite and gneiss. Geographically, the Brazilian highlands have rolling hills. Rolling hills are gentle rounded hills with gradual slopes. The eastern edges of these highlands rise sharply from the coastal plain. This steep slope is called an escarpment. An escarpment is a long cliff or steep slope separating two areas of different elevation. Here it is called the Great Escarpment. It separates the coastal plains from the higher plateau inland. Important mountain ranges are part of these highlands. They include Serra do Mar and Serra da Mantiquera. These ranges run parallel to Brazil's Atlantic coast. The climate of the Brazilian highlands is tropical to subtropical. Summers here are hot and rainy. Winters are mild and drier. Rainfall ranges widely from 100 to 200 cm annually. The highlands greatly influence rainfall patterns. Moisture rich trade winds from the Atlantic Ocean rise over these slopes. This causes heavy rainfall on the eastern side. As a result, dense forests grow here. On the western side of the highlands, rainfall reduces sharply. The highlands create a rain shadow effect. A rain shadow is an area that receives very little rain. Due to this, areas west of the highlands become drier, including parts of Gran Chaco. Vegetation in the Brazilian highlands varies greatly. Near the coast, the Atlantic rainforest thrives. Further inland, vegetation becomes grasslands and shrublands known as the Cerrado. Cerrado is a vast tropical savanna rich in biodiversity. Thousands of unique plant and animal species live here. The rivers originating from the Brazilian highlands are crucial. Major rivers such as Parana and São Francisco start here. These rivers flow eastward and southward. They provide water for agriculture, transportation and hydroelectric power generation. Dams on these rivers significantly contribute to Brazil's electricity. Historically, the Brazilian highlands are important. Indigenous cultures here lived for centuries. Later, European settlers developed agriculture and mining in the region. Today, the highlands remain central to Brazil's economy. Farming, ranching, mining and industry continue to thrive here. Thus, The Brazilian highlands play a critical role in South America's geography, climate, biodiversity and economy. Next we move northward along eastern South America. Here we encounter three unique grassland like ecosystems: Campos, Cerrado and Caatinga. First we reach Campos. It stretches from about 18 degrees south latitude to 31 degrees south latitude. Campos covers parts of southern Brazil, Uruguay and a small area of northeastern Argentina. 
Campos is primarily a grassland region. Its landscape is flat with gently rolling areas. Rainfall here is moderate. Vegetation mainly includes grasses and few scattered shrubs. Trees are uncommon due to regular fires and grazing by cattle. Campos has a mild climate with distinct wet and dry seasons. Winters are relatively cooler compared to regions further north. Moving slightly north, we enter the Cerrado region. Cerrado lies mainly in central Brazil and partly extends into eastern Bolivia and northern Paraguay. Cerrado is also grassland, but it differs significantly from Campos. It is a tropical savanna with more diverse vegetation. Cerrado has tall grasses, scattered shrubs, and notably many small twisted trees. Trees here are adapted to survive dry spells and frequent fires. Rainfall in Cerrado is higher than in Campos. It ranges from about 100 to 200 centimeters annually. Cerrado experiences distinct wet and dry seasons. This savanna is known globally for its rich biodiversity. Many unique animal and plant species are found only here. Further north is Caatinga. This ecosystem lies entirely within northeastern Brazil. Caatinga differs clearly from both Campos and Cerrado. It is a dry shrubland region. Rainfall here is very low, usually less than 80 cm per year. Caatinga experiences long droughts regularly. Its vegetation is specially adapted for such conditions. Plants here have thick, thorny and leathery leaves to conserve water. Unlike Campos and Cerrado, grasses are limited here. Trees and shrubs are small, sparse and thorny. Caatinga has very high temperatures year-round. It supports unique wildlife adapted to extreme dryness and heat. Thus, moving from south to north, Campos, Cerrado and Caatinga form a continuous but diverse ecological belt. Each has distinct climate, vegetation and wildlife. Together, these three ecosystems show South America's remarkable ecological diversity. Now we move westward again into the Andes region. Here we find a vast high altitude plateau called the Altiplano. The name Altiplano means high plain in Spanish. It is located mainly in western Bolivia. Smaller portions extend into Peru, Chile and Argentina. The Altiplano is among the world's highest plateaus. Its average elevation is around 3600 meters above sea level. Due to this high altitude, conditions here are very harsh. Temperatures remain cold throughout the year. Rainfall is low, making the region dry and semi-arid. Vegetation on the Altiplano is mainly grasses, shrubs and hardy plants. Trees are scarce because of harsh weather. Despite this, indigenous people have adapted well to life here. Lake Titicaca lies on this Altiplano plateau. It is a freshwater lake on the border between Peru and Bolivia. Lake Titicaca sits around 3810 meters above the sea level. It is the highest navigable lake in the world. The lake is about 190 kilometers long and around 80 kilometers wide. Many rivers flow into Lake Titicaca. But only one river flows out called the Desaguadero River. The shores of the lake support unique wildlife and indigenous communities. Tall mountain peaks surround the Altiplano region. Notable among these peaks is Nevado Sajama in Bolivia. Sajama is the highest peak in Bolivia at around 6542 meters. Other tall peaks nearby include Nevado Illimani in Bolivia and Nevado Coropuna in Peru. Moving northward in the Andes between 20 degree and 10 degree south latitude, we encounter more very tall peaks. One prominent mountain here is Nevado Huascaran. 
it lies entirely within Peru. Huascaran is the highest peak in Peru, rising to about 6,768 meters. It is famous for challenging climbing conditions and glaciers. Another notable peak is Yarupaja. Yarupaja is also located in Peru. It stands approximately 6,635 meters. It is considered one of the most challenging mountains to climb in the Andes due to steep slopes and harsh conditions. These high mountains of the Andes showcase dramatic geography. Their altitude, weather and natural beauty make them significant landmarks in South America. This is all about this video. We will study other features in next video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel Clarity of Concept UPSC. Download our app Clarity UPSC from App Store, Play Store or as a web app. Links of these are given below. You get up-to-date UPSC relevant curated news in our app. Make sure you check out practice section. It has topic by topic statement analysis quiz section. It helps you master statement evaluation and develop critical thinking skills important for UPSC and all other multiple choice based questions of preliminary examinations. It has 5 levels of difficulty making the learning fully challenging and retain longer. Download now.